celebrity <laughs> chef Mark Kalick. The one, the only, Chef Mark. Our buddy, Chef Mark Kalick. We have celebrity chef Mark Kalick. Hi everyone, it's Chef Mark here at Appliance Factory Mattress Kingdom. I'm at our flagship location in Thornton, and I'm here to talk about storage of vegetables and fruits in your refrigerator. So I got this great question from my friend John. Where should I be storing my vegetables and should I keep them wrapped or, or not, keep them loose? And it really depends on the vegetable, the fruit. And I would recommend taking a look at your grocery store when you're walking through the produce section, they're gonna give you the clues, right? So I took a look here and I saw there's a couple different ways you can buy Brussels sprouts. So you can buy Brussels sprouts in a bag and they're mainly clean. You just snip off the end and you can roast them or blanch them or a million different ways to make Brussels sprouts. But you'll notice that they're an airtight bag. So if they're in a sealed bag, the vegetable wants good moisture. I also saw Brussels sprouts, they were loose and they were under a sprayer. So this is telling you that you want to store this in a wet environment. So either in a sealed bag or if you're buying them loose and they've got moisture on them, leave that moisture on there and leave them in the bag that you put them in when you store them in your refrigerator. Something like a pepper, pepper wants to be dry. So if you look in your grocery store, just a few feet over from where they have the sprayers, they have the peppers and the peppers don't have a sprayer on them. So I like to store these loose, not in a bag, and I find they have a really good shelf life. If you put them in a bag, you're gonna reduce that shelf life down to just a couple of days. They're gonna to start to get mushy. They could start to mold. Uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms enjoy moisture as well. You can see here these mushrooms that I purchased. They are in a uh, vacuum pack seal. There are a couple of breather holes. So this is like an in-between vegetable. If I'm buying loose mushrooms, I like to put them in a bag and then set that bag in my refrigerator, just kind of loosely, not even tied, just kind of semi-open to help maintain that medium amounts of moisture. Um, apples, um, I noticed at the grocery store, it's apple season and all these apples are out and they're in a cool area but they're not refrigerated. You can refrigerate them if you'd like to but again, leave them open, leave them out and loose um, in one of your bins and the biggest damage is that they can roll around and get bruised so sometimes I might put like a towel or something down just to keep them from rolling around. Citrus fruits, you can refrigerate them or not. I tend to refrigerate them uh, for shelf life. Um, so I, again, leave them loose. If you put them in a, a moisture rich environment, um, I find that they tend to get soft. They don't last as long. Uh, so I would say your lemons, your limes, your oranges, and grapefruits, you can refrigerate or not. It's my preference to refrigerate them because I like to have them around, but I don't like them, uh, I don't like to have them go bad on me. Okay, I'm here uh, inside inside the Thermidor Column Refrigerator. And it's big and it's beautiful. It's got this dramatic theater lighting, great shelves, lots of door pockets. And then we've got some drawers here. And this drawer has got a switcher here for vegetable and fruit. So this controls your humidity level. And really what it does is it just, when you put it on fruit, it blocks off some of the moisture that gets into that drawer. Um, and you know, if your refrigerator has this feature, it works, somebody in a, in a lab coat figured this out. So go ahead and use that feature, make things a little easier on yourself. Um, where do I like to store stuff? So I love these drawers um, just because it kind of keeps things, like things in the same place. And one tip here, you know, I don't recommend refrigerating your potatoes. Uh, you want your potatoes in a cool and dry place. Uh, if you put them in the refrigerator, they'll start to absorb uh, moisture or even odor from other uh, things in your refrigerator. And bananas, never put your bananas in the refrigerator, and I'll tell you why. They secrete a lot of ethylene gas, which makes other fruits and vegetables ripen very, very quickly and then therefore spoil. So what I like to do, I love bananas, but I can never eat a whole bunch of them. So I just buy loose, one or two at a time, and I send them out uh, on my counter. And of course, if you need to ripen up your avocados, which I usually don't refrigerate unless I wanna, if they're just right and I wanna stop that uh, process of having them ripen. But if I get a rock hard avocado and I buy it in the day and I wanna eat it at night, I throw it in a paper bag with a banana and that does the trick. So, whoa, push to open. That's pretty cool. All right, so in finishing here, take a look at your grocery store, walk around and take the visual indicator, the clues of how the grocery store is preserving their groceries. If you see a wet environment, utilize that wet environment at home. If you see a dry environment, try that at home. And then if you're not sure, ask your produce manager. They're around and they're experts and they're happy to answer any questions that you have. So hopefully this helps. Thanks John for the question. The Chef Marcus Appliance Factory and Mattress Kingdom. Make sure you like and subscribe.